Smart cities deeply integrate technology to improve the lives of residents. But what does that really mean? Imagine streetlights that adjust their brightness as pedestrians pass by, or that detect when nearby parking slots become free. Imagine water systems equipped with sensors collecting real-time data that engineers use to respond to leaks or to predict potential flooding. Imagine public transit systems optimised to get commuters to where they want to be as quickly and comfortably as possible. Our Smart City Management and Technology programme trains you in the skills you need to create these kinds of modern integrated systems and that will make you standout candidates for a range of roles in the public and private sectors. Besides building a strong technical foundation, our programme will equip you with interdisciplinary critical thinking and analytical skills through the integration of social sciences and management disciplines. These skills will help you to empathise with the needs of users and design innovative solutions that really solve their pain points and positively impact their lives. In Singaporean society today, we have many terms that are popping up such as the digital economy, smart nation, smart city, and um, the government is really trying to push forth all these notions. And I felt that I wanted to go for the SMT program because um, I believe that it was a new and lucrative area of study. So actually, I believe the main differentiating factor between IS, traditional courses like IS, CS and SMT would be the cross-functionality. And I felt that I would be a lot more employable and desirable in the workplace as a result. As the Pioneer Batch, I was really intrigued by what this course promised to offer. A three-in-one learning experience that had the potential to open multiple doors for me in multiple fields once I stepped out into the workforce. Something that no other course in other local universities could boast. Unlike the usual curriculum, the SMT program helps to build the bridge between technology and society, teaching us how to apply whatever technical skills we learned directly to real-life smart city projects. We had the opportunity to take social science courses that amalgamated technology and business smart city domain knowledge. These specially curated courses equipped us with industry-relevant knowledge such as the geographic information systems, public policies and sustainable digital cities. So I was very interested in city planning and urban design. SMT happens to offer something of my interest with a nice blend of IT, which is hot and trendy industry. And SMT does not restrict me to take up more technical courses, uh, which have provided me all more options to adjust the focus of study based on the industry demand as well as my own will. The school always adopts a process of learning to learn, which allows us to deliver the solution with the most suitable method and tech stack. Many of the projects require the integrated knowledge of social sciences, technology, and business. Whereby, if a technical solution is designed to solve a business problem, the survey design and other research methods from social sciences will kickstart to understand the customer demand, followed by project management to ensure a smooth delivery of product in a given timeline. I chose to join the SMT program because apart from learning new technology, I wanted to gain interdisciplinary skills and know how I could help transform Singapore into a more technology-enabled society so as to provide for a better quality of life for everyone. As part of the SMT curriculum, we are given exposure on public policy, urban planning, data analytics, sensors and IoT, as well as the user technical modules. So before coding the technology, it is first important to understand users' pain points through data collection and then analysing this data to gain insight to ensure that your product truly benefits your users. And in the scenario where you wish to build something to aid the smart city movement, knowledge on public policy and urban planning would come into play. So other than giving, given the chance to dabble into the Internet of Things or IoT and Data Science early in my first two years here, the course have also opened many doors for various internship opportunities. So these include interning at the centre of the both cities as a smart city research intern in the summer of my first year. So at CLC, uh, I got the chance to explore more about the various developments of smart cities in ASEAN and understand the challenges of such technology applications. So other than picking up um, and honing our technical skills, such project referral sponsors also allow us to learn about managing business requirements and relationships. I believe such experiences will definitely come in handy and prepare me well for my future jobs. The Smart City Management and Technology major does not solely focus on academics, but it places equal importance on preparing students for the workforce. The program equips students with industry-relevant skill sets 
which are well sought after and well received by both public as well as private sector. This is evident as a number of our graduate batch of Thailand students have secured full-time jobs more than six months before graduation. Some students in this major have also been offered not one but a few job opportunities during their undergraduate years. We also have industry partners approaching us expressing their interest to hire smart city major students for internship as employer values the interdisciplinary and career-ready training that our undergraduates receive from this program. In a nutshell, we are confident that the Smart City Management and Technology major plugs the industry talent gap in multidisciplinary and future-ready professionals.